Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to The Elder Scrolls 3. Sorry, I thought I heard something. The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Alright, so we need to go to Audrasol. We don't want to go to Dagoth Ur. This place is spooky. Oh, that's just a zombie. Oh, that's a corporate stalker. Okay. That's someone who lost themselves to Corpus. You can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. I imagine that'll be a common trend in this. You know, for approaching the crater of a volcano, there sure are a lot of trees still. Still so freaky. Uh, well, his head is in the ground. Yasu mine. No, I'll say no to Yasu. I'm not here for that. I shouldn't. I shouldn't jump around. There's gonna be a lot of fighting in here. I need all the stamina I can save. Okay, Audrasol should be coming up. That sounds like something you spray. Oh, it's a Daedroth. I mean, it makes sense. I guess they can summon Daedra here, too. Now, what am I looking for when it comes to Audrasol? Oh, my God. Just go, please. Like, is it a tower? Is it a weird little door in the side of a wall? Oh, I'm getting a little bit of red on the screen there. I'm starting to think we might be near the actual crater proper. Oh, that one took a few hits. So we should be near Audrasol. I panicked and had to spam levitate. <clears throat> okay, so we should be. I guess are there are the things, are the fortresses or whatever I'm looking for? They're all like on the crater edges. Is that what it is? Hundrasol should be like right here. Oh. I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna save. I'm gonna save. I think I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Actually, this might be Audrasol. What am I looking at? Oh, it's a it's a hunger. Oh, that's just lava. Don't go down there. Oh, this actually might be Dagoth. Err. At the very bottom of the volcano. I don't think I want to be here. I need to go to Audrasol. Better just use up the last of that pant charge because I don't want to fall into the lava. So Audrasol should be like here. Another hunger. Stop! I think what they I think they do damage to your durability. Uh, it's not that bad. Okay. Let me heal. Oh god, my pants are completely out of charge. Um, I 
I should take these opportunities whenever I can to let my pants recharge. Okay. Oh, now I can't see anything. It's already dark enough in here. I need to be able to see. So where is Audrasol? Is it that building? No, it should be more south. Why is it still so dark? I feel like I've flown all the way around all of this and I still can't find the actual... Oh, wait. This is probably Audrasol. Okay. So now I just need to find the entrance. So one of these places had Sunder and one of these places had Keening. I happen to just... From having played other Elder Scrolls stuff, I know what those look like. It's just a matter of finding them. That was a different death animation. Okay, so this... This must be Audrasol. Open the door. The Wemmer Training Academy. One side of it, really? Oh, I forgot how it's spooky the... Ooh, Dwemer armor, though. Is this a spear? It's so dark in here. I forgot how spooky this ambient sounds are in... Dead Dreamer. Plenty of weapons. Again? I just go in a circle with no reason to do that? I sure did. Is that a golden saint? Ooh, that might be. Maybe I can get some Daedric stuff. Alright, what do you got? You got a Daedric dagger and Orcish tower shield. No thanks. Whoa. Oh, we that, we saw one of the Dagoth Ordros. Oh, so are these the, like, head honchos? Six house amulet. Amulet of Heartfire. Okay. Because they said that all the places are named after the important ones. Ordro sounds like Ordrosol, that's his place. Because we killed one of them before when in, in Kethuane or whatever it was called. What was it called? This one up here. No, this one. Kogarun. Oh, wait. What? I'm getting all turned around. How do I progress deeper here? Where's. It said Keening and Sunder. Uh, wait, you know what? Was it in the room with that guy and I just didn't look thoroughly? Alright, if I was keeping a special item... It's not here. Is there more to this place? No. Do I 
different halberd. Different spear. Battle axe, dwarven claymore. Dwarven cuirass. More dwarven armor. Ah, there's more to go. Oh, that's keening. Short one handed. Fortify magic. Constant effect. I found Keening. Now, wait a minute. <clears throat> Keening does 915, 915, 918. Okay, so higher floor, but not as high peaks. Well, I need it for the quest, so it's fine. All right. That's one. I need to find Sunder now, the hammer. Well, I guess Keening is more of a chisel than a dagger. So the other one should be all the way over there. Veminal. Oh, the creator of Red Mountain is much smaller than I kind of thought. Isn't there a whole thing that Sothisil replicated the tools of Kagranok? Like, he, or he made his own versions of the heart? There's a whole thing to, like... It was in a spin-off story, I think, in one of the, like, Legends games or something. Oh, my God. I'm just trying to fly here, bud. Share the airspace. Okay, so I need to go way over there. The wiki page says I can attack all the citadels in here, but I don't think I'll do that. That seems excessive. Another hunger. Can they not aim up? Cut that shit out. Okay, now I'd like to see... I'm gonna save again, just because... The danger of falling in lava here is ever present. But can I just go around the lip of the crater? Like, is that safe ish? Oh, there's a way to go here. I guess that's how you would enter Dagoth Ur. I need to go that way? That way. Recharge the pants a little. There we go. Fly. Man, could you imagine if the other Elder Scrolls games had this levitate ability? It would it would completely break them. I wonder why they even tried it in the first place with this game when it was like their first foray into 3D. I guess because platforming was such a new thing to them, they needed a way to kind of shortcut things. Whoa, stop vibrating like that. Okay, so we'll just keep going this way. Oh, one of these guys, one of these worm faces. Stop! Stop, damn you! God, they're so relentless sometimes. What is that? Oh, these things. The Ascended Sleepers. Yeah, here. I hate their weird skull they leave behind. Ash salts. Gross. Don't put those don't put those in your bathtub. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. Those are plants. So what's this called? Veminal. Okay, thank you for not attacking me while I walked up to you and smacked you in the head. Okay, so my next... Oh, I'm at Veminal, supposedly. I don't see Veminal. Oh, my lord. Get out of here. 
What an annoying enemy they've created in this game. Oh my god. How about you? Where'd you... Do you want to fight too? You want to fight too? Okay. I see Veminal, finally. Ooh, these cliffs are steep. Okay, uh... There's a corpus guy. Ow. Knock it off, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. Have I lost stats? I haven't lost stats. Okay, Veminal. What do we do here? Is there a local entrance? That looks like a place. Outer Fortress. Okay. Get out of here. Are you a named one? No, you were just tough for some reason. Hello. Ooh, arrows. Ooh, arrows. Heavy Dwemer desk. Is this scrap metal? Dwemer junk. Is there anything on this side? Oh, there is something on this side. Bone walker. Oh, big boy. Oh, this one had a name. Dagoth Garrel. Wait, haven't I fought a Dagoth Garrel before? Uh, Dwemer Dresser, Dwemer Shield. Dwarf and Claymore. All right. Strange. I was kind of expecting the head honcho to be somewhere around here. Dwemer boots, pauldrons, all the goodies. Parchment with scrawlings. All cries are waking. White is white of all white. Black is blacks of all blacks. Shame and sun, sun and shadow. Stronger than gods, brighter than mortals. Only he is awake, only he is alive. He knows the names and the, the naming. He knows the weight and the waiting. He enters into every star and moon. He shines through their shadows. One shape, one spelling, one wraith, one casting. One From darkness he is armed, from light he is warded. He's all things. Drake, Lich, Theoman. On rivers of fire he comes forth. Through storms of dreams he rides. With slivers of steel he pierces the heart. All spells, powers, curses broken. The chains are shattered. The scales fall away. I see with my eye and all is silence. I wake, I remember, Lord. That seems like the scrawlings of a perfectly sane person. Hall of Torque. No, 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 no. Oh. Maybe I should try to go to the bottom floor first. Dave Dramora. With no weapons in the scene. Ow, I am on fire. Ebony staff. Okay. If I was a big boy, I would be in this area. What does this get? Dagoth Solar? Dagoth Solar? Solar. Oh, hey, big boy! How are you? Vemin. Yeah, that makes sense. Sund oh, he just had Sunder on him. Okay. Amulet of Hearth 
heart heal. Okay. So I have Sunder and I have Keening. That should be everything I need. Right? I have Wraith Guard and I have it equipped. So I have to smack it once the Heart of Lorcan. I have to smack it. I assume I'll know what the Heart of Lorcan looks like. Unless it's just a literal heart. But I have to hit the Heart of Lorcan once with Sunder and then step multiple times with Keening. That's weird. You'd think you'd use the hammer and chisel as a hammer and chisel together, but I guess. Oh, I missed the guy out here. Oh no, I didn't miss a guy. He respawned. Okay. So that should just mean go straight to Dagoth Ur? Could we be could we be that close to the end? I wonder. Ow. They really didn't have to put cliff racers in the volcano area, but they did. Now I understand why Jube went and killed them all. Did we ever see Jube again? We saw him in the very beginning of the game and that was it. Like, can we find him in a prison somewhere? Okay. Slowly but surely. Red Mountain region, no kidding. It's, it's just annoying. It's not difficult. It's not dangerous. It's just annoying. I'm just trying to get to the end of the game. And those things are everywhere. I wonder if they're in the two DLCs. Like, they're probably not in Soul's time, I would imagine. I don't know where Tribunal takes place. I... Th I from what I saw on the map, it almost looks like it takes place in Mournhold, but I don't understand how. I guess we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. They're so dramatic. They do a full pirouette. Now does... Destroying the heart and killing Dagoth, or does that just remove all Ash enemies through from the game? Like, how else, how can they function without him functional? Okay, we're gonna save one more time, and I need to find the entrance to actual to the actual place. Because I thought it was that little area there, but I didn't see how to open it. Okay. Yeah, how do you... The game doesn't really want me to go like this. I recharge my pants. So yeah, how do you actually enter Dagoth Ur? 
That looks like it might be an exit. Yeah, yeah, those are all those. So I have that. I have that. Before selling there, th yeah, I got those. The east passes to the southeast. It runs between Odrasol and the Animus Mine. That's an image. The outer facility is, is blocked by a spherical door that can be opened with a hand crank found on a pipe to the south of the entrance. Yup. A hand crank on a pipe to the south of the entrance. Is this? I see no crank. Oh wait, I see a crank. Oh, okay. Oh, don't get stuck now. All right, we're in it. Well, I guess I gotta wait for the crank. Outer facility. This is the. This is it. This is the home stretch. I think. I can't. Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon the heart and of Kulakan. And bring Wraithguard. I have need of it. A Kulakan. So that's how you say it. A Kulakan. Well, how come he gets all the fancy voice lines? Come to the heart chamber. I wait for you there, where we last met countless ages ago. How did it? Wow, this person made it pretty damn far. Wait a minute. Silver staff of shaming. What a weapon. All right, where is the heart chamber? Come to me through fire and war. I welcome you. He is a pretty charismatic voice in her facility, okay. <clears throat> I knew there would be something in this room. Ooh, I see lava. Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. Alright. Probably don't want to fall down there. That seems to be a furnace of some sort. Okay, inner tower. Hello, sir. Please don't. Dagoth Irvin. I've killed these Dagoths before, so I guess that thing about they regenerate the heart is a... Oh. I guess this was a buoyant armager, it seems. Crossier of St. Lothus. Hmm. Okay, so the tower's not the way to go. Let's just keep opening doors. Where'd you come from? Get out of here. Looking for your boss. Ooh, what's that? What is that? I can't... Can I look at the damn thing? Thank you. Demon Longbow. Okay. These folks really don't understand how furniture works. Come. Bring Wraith Guard to the Heart Chamber. Together let us free the cursed false gods. Okay. I hope we get like a cool little cinematic with him and not just, okay, fight me now. Welcome, Nerevar. Together we shall speak for the law and the land and shall drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind. Hey, I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. I'm over encumbered. What? Oh, no. Oh no! That thing took so much of my my strength away. Uh, sh 
shit, I need to get rid of stuff. I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. Shit, Sunder's really heavy. Oh no, I might be screwed. Oh no! Let me drop Sunder real quick. And then... Oh no, I can't pick up Sunder now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All because this stupid bone walker damaged my my strength. Oh no! When was the last save? I wasn't even. Wait, that can't be right. I was. Didn't I save at the building? What? New plan. Go here. You can't rest their enemies nearby. Cool. Oh, it moved. It moved. Okay. Come on, get just give me the damn thing. Wow, yeah, I'm completely over encumbered. How much? Okay, what does Sunder do? 10, 7, 7. Drain fatigue. Shit, and I have nothing really heavy to drop. Can I. I need to fortify strength. Don't tell me of all the things. I didn't get a fortify strength ability. Visibility, fortify personality, minor intervention, speed, damage, endurance, willpower. I don't have one for strength. What does recall do? Sound, fortify health, restore health. So, fortify health, fortify magicka. Check down and levitate. I don't have. I can't! Do I drop? I might have to just. I'm going to just try to use Sunder, I guess, as my weapon. But it's a blunt weapon. Is this... Actually, I'll use Keening. I'll just have to. I mean, there's no other choice. Holy shit! Okay, actually, that works pretty well. Oh my god! Okay, Keening is the way to go. Oh my god. Does Keening have any negative effects? No, it just gives me a bunch of fortifies. Okay. Is this how you honor the sixth house and the tribe unmourned? Come to me openly and not by stealth. I'm not trying to sneak. Okay, I'm gonna save because I just noticed I having encountered that issue, I haven't saved in a while. Welcome, Moon and Star, to this place where destiny is made. Oh. It began here, it will end here. Have any parting words, or would you prefer to skip the speeches and get to our business? You are a challenger here, after all, so to you goes the courtesy of the first blow. Now that we, now that you have come to me here, there can be but one result. Many times I have considered offering you to, offering to share this place with you. I considered offering to accept your oath of service, 
You might try to buy my trust by giving me Wraithguard teeting and Sunder. I thought we might once again be friends, comrades, brothers in arms. But I've won this place and power by right of conquest, by right of daring and enterprise. I will not risk it to cunning and deceit. I offer you no deals. If you are my enemy, I cannot trust you. And even if you are not my enemy, I cannot let you live. It will be decided here. I believe I will prevail. But I cannot be sure, and I am vain enough that, should I fall, I would wish to be remembered in my own words. So if you have final questions you would ask, ask them now. I have final questions I would ask you if you would answer. My first question is, are you really Nerevar reborn? Uh, I'm a self-willed hero. You are bold. I honor your independence. You are one to teach the gods their limits. I hope the bards will praise the glory of your death in song. My second question is, if you win, what do you plan to do with the power of the heart? Will you make yourself a god and establish a, th a, th a thearchy? Thearchy? Will you complete Akulakan, Akulakan and dispute control of Tamriel with the Septims? Or will you share the heart with your followers I have and breed a new race of divine immortals? None of these. Well, perhaps there may be surprises in store for me yet. Or perhaps you obscure your plans on principle, or perhaps you are an instinctive bluffer. No matter. My final question is, if I'd offered to let you join me, would you have surrendered Wraithguard, Sunder, and King to me to seal your oath? Uh, no. I would never join you. Thank you for your forthright answer. Forthright. And now, if you have any questions, ask them. Otherwise, you are the challenger. I await your first blow. What are your questions? What is your plan for the heart? I will continue to draw divine power from the heart and distribute it to my kin and followers. I will continue to broadcast divine power upon the blight winds so that it will touch each soul on Vardenfell and then more broadly across the waters to the rest of Morrowind and Tamriel. In time, every mortal in Tamriel shall feel the liberating contact with the divine. What are your plan for Six House? The Sixth House will serve as the elite cadre of our movement. As cultists evolve through various stages of enlightenment, they'll become, as suits their abilities, either holy warriors or priests. Their duty is to prepare themselves for service. Their joy and liberation is to enter ever more deeply into the profound enlightenment of the divine dream world. What about the Dunmer? I will free the Dunmer from the imperial yoke and cast down the false gods of the temple. I will lead them out of their ancient superstitions and gift them with intimate knowledge of the divine. Then, perhaps, when Morrowind is once again restored to its ancient glories, it will be time to consider whether the Dunmer should cultivate ambitions of empire. How do you justify your crimes? If, by my crimes, you mean the inevitable suffering and destruction caused by war, then I accept the burden of leadership. The Sixth House cannot be restored without war. Enlightenment cannot grow without the risk of upsetting the tradition-bound and complacent herd. And the mongrel armies of the empire cannot be expelled from Morrowind without bloodshed. As I have charity and compassion, I grieve, but our mission is just and noble. What happened to the Dwemer? I have no idea what happened to the Dwemer. I have been denied the opportunity to study Wraithguard, and I'm not sure how much of Kakranok's lore was invested in his tools, and how much of his is and how much in his own sorcery and mastery. I've long studied Kakranok and have come to admire his wisdom and craft. Some day after the campaigns of the Sixth House are secure, I hope to have time to dedicate to this mystery. Why are you building Akal? Akulakan. Akulakan will serve three purposes. First, it will be the champion of my armies, liberating first Vardenfeld, then Morrowind, and then perhaps the rest of Tamriel. Second, it will serve as a sower and cultivator of the divine substance derived from the heart. Three, it will serve as the prominent banner and symbol of our cause, to defy the Empire, to liberate mortals from ancient superstitions, and to glorify our crusade against the gods. Uh, okay... Very well, well, if you are impatient to begin, go ahead. You are the challenger. To you goes the first blow. Oh, so much for the first blow. Okay, how do I... I can't kill him. Uh, how do I... Hey, game, how do I... Boy, I sure do love trial and error. It's fun. All right, get, what am I doing? Oh, I have to kill him. I thought I couldn't kill him. 
Boy, I love not having any weapons. Screw you, Jesus. Took 25 hours to heal. Okay, now I can continue. Ah, Kula Khan's chamber. What is it going to look like? Because we've never had a clear shot of Numidium. What a fool you are. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. <clears throat> I'm just gonna run around if that's all right with you. Is he still chasing me? Hmm. Well, now what? Where am I? Where do I go? Uh-huh. Oh, it's in the robot. It's not much robot. It's... Is that bone? Oh, weird. Oh, I guess I was supposed to keep going down. Oh. Oh, I guess that's the heart. Is it so simple? Ew, he's like making it out of... It's not a robot, it's like made of flesh and bone. Weird! Numidium is a robot. Okay, so I need to hit it with Sunder first. And now I need to hit it with Keening. I think he's dead. Audio seems to be looping. Is it? Did I do something wrong? Oh. Okay. Found the heart of Lorcan within the giant artifact, uh, Kulakan. I struck the heart with Sunder, then struck it again and again with Keening until the enchantment was destroyed. Severed from the standing power of the heart, Dagoth Ur was destroyed with a disturbance trick and an earthquake, and I had to flee for my life. Oh, that part I didn't know. You can't rest here, there are enemies nearby. Are there, though? Well, I might as well use these. Give me two of them, bad boys. Those don't restore as much as I thought. Uh, am I supposed to do something else, or can I leave? What What do I do? Oh, okay, never mind. There's a there's a thing that I just leave. It's cool to get Keening. How come they haven't made Keening and Sunder and Wraithguard while we're at it? They did that whole short-lived artifacts thing in online where like you can make it look make your weapons look like famous weapons in Elder Scrolls history. 
Why haven't they done that with any of these three? There aren't enemies nearby, though. He was pretty dangerous. He was hurting me real bad. Wait, how do I leave? Uh What 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 do I what do I do here? Our back house ended it. Follow the ledge back around to the top or fly up and open the door to the facility's cavern using the crank on the pipes in front of it. Crank on the pipes in front of it. Oh. Oh. I think they would just have it open automatically from what you did. Oh, I'm locked in. You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. The doom dreamer's <coughs> folly. Lord Dagoth's <coughs> temptation. The tribunal's seduction. The god's heart freed. The prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the lost. But let the weeping cease. The blight is gone, and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior, Hortator, and Nereverine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small, still threaten the people of Vardenfell. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. For you are thanks and blessings. Our gift and token given. Come, take this thing from the hand of God. I'm trying to listen to the end cutscene and my dog's freaking out because someone's dropping something off. What is this? Ring of Azura, Night Eye on Self. <laughs> what noises are you making over there? Alright, let me take this. Oh my god. What am I doing? Can I use divine intervention and get out of here? I can. Okay. Hey, we're even in the place I like. So, with my dog being cooperative. You want something, friend? That's it for that's it for the main story, I think. I'm going to look how to start the DLC, and we'll get cracking on that in the next one. So, thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.